And that's how you make a paper aeroplane. See you next time, kids. Thanks, Handy Andy. Did we enjoy that? Oh, well, it's 2.30, gang, which means Teletubbies. Are we excited? But instead of a normal episode this week, we thought we'd let our resident smarty pants, Adam Curtis, cobble something together himself. So, take it away, Adam. A new dawn has broken, has it not? In 1997, Britain was in a transitional phase. A phase defined by optimism. This newfound optimism was focused on Tony Blair, the first Labour Prime Minister in 18 years. But whilst this was going on, a different group of people were setting out their own brand of optimism. That same year, Anne Wood and Andrew Davenport created the children's television programme Teletubbies, a utopian world of bright colours, wind power and sentient home appliances. The Teletubbies had managed to realise Blair's dream of manipulating television to shape a new reality. But what the creators of Teletubbies didn't bargain for was that this fictitious wonderland would soon fall to the same fate as New Labour, transmitting an endless feedback loop of old ideas rather than producing something new, and that the potent national optimism unleashed in the late 90s would turn into a violent fear and paranoia with deadly consequences. Poe, Dipsy, Lala and Tinky Winky may seem alien and strange, but they are us. They are all of us. We are no longer watching television because we are television. So, children, if you're listening, remember, you have not lost your future. It has been taken from you. <laughs>